dental implants undoubtedly has become an integral part of the dental practice growing in popularity with the increasing number of population around the world opting for it arguably the best solution for people with missing teeth but as straightforward as the procedure might look like dental implants poses some real challenges risks and possible complications which includes damage to the nerve or tissue while implant placement which leads to that numbness and tingling sensation to the patient sinus complication failure in osteointegration which means patient returning to the dental clinic after 3 months with a loose implant there can be infection or inflammation around the implant site also called periimplantitis now research shows that many of these above complications are associated with inaccurate implant positioning that is where the role of proper evaluation and concrete treatment planning comes into play in my last video i talked about using surgical guides to locate the root canal in case of pulp calcification that is called static navigation in this video i am going to take you one step higher in technology today we are going to talk about the use of dynamic navigation using x guide navigation system this computer navigation surgery is a flap less or minimal flap surgery which enables reduced bleeding and post treatment infection facilitating faster recovery for patients less chair time and patient discomfort also reduced risk of iatrogenic damage to the nearby anatomic structures like the nerves and sinus elimination for the need of the wax ups that we dentists spend so much time in our clinic and in the end the result that we get is an accurate minimal invasive and a faster implant surgery hi everyone welcome back to my channel dentistry for you i'm dr mitali behel an endodontist and cosmetic dentist last month i went to charlotte to get the training in static navigation system that is using surgical guides for implant placement and now i'm getting the training for dynamic navigation which is using x guide navigation system to place implants so for the very first time i'm going to interview dr steve brock he is a diplomate of american board of oral implantology and implant dentistry and he is also a fellow in the american academy of implant dentistry so let's go to his office the dental images which is in knoxville tennessee and understand that what is this 3d dynamic navigation system all about how to use the x guide system and how can we the dentist as well as our patients benefit from this technology My name is Steve Brock. I work at Dental Images in Knoxville, Tennessee, and uh, I currently am a diplomat for the American Board of Oral Implantology and Implant Dentistry and a fellow in the American Academy of Implant Dentistry. My interest and career involving dental implants began in 1981 uh, when I graduated from dental school. I had the opportunity to go backpacking in Europe right after just to have a mental break from dental school, but I ran into a Swedish medical student in Sweden and he said you must come to Gothenburg, Sweden because we're doing some marvelous things with bone fixtures to replace teeth and so he convinced me and I went there and, and I had an opportunity to see the Brandomar clinic to visit there to see the studies were going on then I came back to America. For the past 15 years I found that a preferential way to place dental implants in an ideal restorative position has been to use a guided protocol. Initially, we worked with outsiding laboratories to fabricate uh, surgical guides. And then with the help of my son, we actually began to be able to, to design and fabricate our surgical guides on site in a more expedient and, and uh, efficient manner. Even with that, we found that technology never stands still. It's always moving forward. 
So we've been working with the X-Guide for about three months now. The X-Guide gives a, a tool in hand that lets us do minimally invasive dentistry simply because we know where the implant goes. We don't have to do reflective restorative re reflective surgery to identify the bone and anatomy availability. We see that all before we begin. The X-Guide procedure is something that's relatively simple from the, from the standpoint of how do you get started. First of all, when the patient comes in and has a problem, we identify that there's a need and there's available bone for a dental implant. Once that's done, we actually place in the mouth of actual fiduciary and then go through a, a CBCT scan with the fiduciary in place. So that actually creates a reference point to the patient's anatomy that we can always reference to throughout the entire planning as well as the surgical procedure itself. Once the planning is done, the tooth can actually be designed digitally to put back in place so you see exactly the prosthetic endpoint that we want to support. So we don't have planning errors and the fact is we can see the available bone, we can see where the tooth contoured anatomy is so that the implant and the prosthetics are joined together in the plan. The next thing we do once it's time for the surgical intervention is we go back, the fiduciary is in the marker, we, ac we actually have an optical component that goes outside the mouth where this is fixated in the mouth in reference to the patient's anatomy. And then we actually have a three axis guide where we can plan not only the buccal and lingual or the front and back or the right and left, the distal and uh, mesial aspect, but we can also know the depth of placement for the implant. We see the avatar that we've planned in the planning and we know exactly where the drill is in reference to the anatomy of the implant and the patient's anatomy as well. So that information together along with the tactile feedback of how the bone density is affecting the positioning is given and retained to the surgery. With a surgical guide, you lose the tactile feedback to the, to the density and the shape of the bone. We had a case today, I think that was filmed earlier, that showed a young man who's uh, student at the University of Tennessee that had a previous injury with a tooth that had a root canal but the tooth fractured and it was non-restorable. We also found out that there was a cyst located with the tooth that created a pathology that needed to be mediated as well. So we were able to go through working with the X-Guide to remove the tooth and the cyst, and graft the side and actually go ahead and place an implant in an ideal position so that he can have it restored and it will look natural and functional like his original tooth. It also preserves all the soft tissue and the aesthetics that are needed for a young man who has a lot of growing and maturing yet to even to go forward to in, in his um, path, his journey. Technically, we could have a patient come in the same day with a fractured tooth, scan and plan the implant and do it in the same afternoon. We could never do that when it involved making a physical guide, having to have it fabricated and go through several steps of fabrication before it would be available. And in that time frame, we've gone through and found that our dental implant team really have come to like the efficiency and how expedite, expeditive it is for us to plan a case and bring it to a place where we can schedule and, and go forward with the patient. Was initially very skeptical because new things and new gadgets and new toys and doctors spending money sometimes has a great deal of skepticism when it comes to the team. Like, what is this really going to cost us in time and money in the long run? And this is one of those things where the skepticism has been fully displaced and now we have an excited team who now understands the technology and understands the value of it to the patient. Wow. This was such a great learning experience for me. I hope it was for you as well. If you have any questions related to this topic, what is static navigation, dynamic navigation, how to apply it in our dental practice, or any other questions related to it, do let me know in the comment section below. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you all next time with another dental topic.